That's one day of sun. And this was froze solid like a rock yesterday. Nasty, nasty crap. Is that a thing of beauty or what? Look what I found on this last piece. There was another piece of this uh, T-post that was in that tree service wood. Today on In the Wood Yard, we've got trailers, I've got wood. We're gonna do some split, and we're gonna split some nasty ash today. Here we go. So yesterday, at the end of the day, I split a little bit of wood in the trailer here. I had less than an hour, split a little bit, and uh, I started splitting on the nasty, nasty crap, the crotchy crap. And there's a bunch more in there, and that's what I'm gonna work on today. So I just went and put in two new IBC totes over there that are empty because I'm going to fill them with a lot of burnt wood today. There's going to be a lot of chunks and crotchy stuff that is not going to be good enough for me to sell that's going to be, you know, odd sized stuff, cookies, things like that. So I know in the pile there, there's a lot of it. So I'll probably need four or five totes, but I got two there to start with. And if I need to get more, we'll get more as I pull the trailer out and we can move the totes around and pull out the ones that are full, put in some new ones and just keep going. But I am getting a lot of good wood out of it. And if I was, was to guess, because people will ask, I know some of you are thinking right now, well, how much good wood do you get out of tree service wood? My just rough guesstimation, I would say 70 to 80% of it is good saleable wood. The rest of it, yeah, it's good wood if you're just getting it for yourself to burn or for a boiler, or for a fireplace or fire pit that you're not going to be selling. But you get a lot of odd stuff that people look at it and they get that, you know, they think that wood has to be pretty to burn, which in reality, the ugly stuff is the stuff that actually burns the best as far as heat and how long it burns. Um, but it's not real stackable. It just doesn't, it's not pleasing to the eye. And most people want pretty wood, even though they're literally burning money for the most part for my customers. That's fine. If that's what they want, that's what they'll get. So I would say like a, somewhere in that range, 80% of it, I think is, is real good wood and you probably get some that's not so good. So today the sun just came out like a couple minutes ago. It was cloudy all morning. It rained overnight last night. It's February and we had thunderstorms last night. I mean, boomers. It was like middle of summer. It was just amazing. We never get that in Wisconsin here. So the next four or five days, it's supposed to be in the 30s to close to 40 degrees. It'll be real nice for working outside. And then we got a surprise coming up in about three or four days. Bert and Adam and I, we're going on a road trip. We're going to another wood yard. Actually, we're going to probably three wood yards to go do some work. So that'll be kind of cool. So that's what's happening. So I'm gonna get to work. We're gonna do some splitting.
So I've been splitting like a good little boy, splitting wood, filling totes. So what I did was I, at first I went and I split a lot of the good stuff you can see that's in the trailer. It's getting heaped up. I moved it forward already. And uh, then I had a lot of uh, the crappy stuff, the pine, spruce, I should say, uh, chunks, cookies, all the odd stuff, short pieces. So I went and I split a bunch of those and I filled up two crates problem is is they're full and i got more stuff so what i did a little while ago and i should have recorded it so i'm gonna have to record this so you guys can see it because you're gonna want to know well everything's blocked there's really no way to get in here with the tractor skidster with the forks to move these so what i did with this one right here is i just drove the tractor up close to this pile right here i ran my chain i got a long chain about i don't know 20 five foot or whatever it is hooked it up to the bottom of the tote down there i'm going to do that to these two and just going to pull it over this way so i'm going to pull both of these just out of the way and i can bring in two more totes and uh, fill those up because there's a lot more stuff in here to put in so bert's getting a lot of wood today So I have more chain if I need it, but this should do it. This is the longest one I have. I've got other shorter ones. I'm just gonna hook it onto the bottom and just pull the whole thing over this way and bring in a couple more. Well, I suppose I could go right in the middle with this one. I did the corner at the last one. There we go. See, I know it would be better and all you were saying, Get the forks out. Move it with the forks. These things are made for moving with forks. Well, the forks are over in the shed. My bucket is on right here. The tractor is right here. I have to move all this stuff to get through here. So watch. This is easy. That should work. All right. Let the show begin. Easy. Now for number two. Yeah. Look at that. We'll be able to pull right through the hole here. I'll put this one right on the corner like I did the first one. I really want to kneel down. Everything here is wet. Everything I touch is wet. Here we go. Slicker and greased all dung. That worked just fine. Now I'm going to go get some more totes and slap them while well, I just carry them with the bucket like I did before. Um, again, I know I could put the forks on, but this is faster.
So there we go. I put a bunch of uh, totes here. I was only going to do a couple, but my ridge end kicked on on my tractor. So I had to run it. So I figured, well, if the tractor's running wide open doing the regen stupid crap, I might as well bring some totes up. So that's what I did. And I just got just shut it off. It ran for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Whatever, however long it takes, you got to have it. Anyway, it's done. So I brought up a bunch of totes and uh, I got a word to Bert. We're going to need more totes. There's a lot of crap wood in here that I'm going to be getting. So I already filled these three. Uh, there's one over there partially full. I got six more right here I just brought up. So with these six, I'm pretty sure it might be enough to finish this area over here off. I've barely made a dent in the pile and I've already got almost two lo full loads of uh, wood of, uh, going through this stuff. There's a lot in there. It's a lot more wood than it looks like over to the side there. So I'm going to start her back up. I'm going to get back to splitting. So there it is, wood in the bin. Worked pretty good, it's about six feet high, well actually a little over six feet high now. And I'll be able to go up at least eight, nine feet real easily just by chucking stand in the back and tossing it. And uh, yeah, so I just backed up the trailer. Now that took exactly 26 minutes. Now the other day I did a load and it took me 22 minutes, but it wasn't as big of a load, it was smaller wood. So this was a heaping load. So I know this was probably, I would say a good five face cords or a full cord and two thirds. And uh, by doing it this way, this is gonna be out in the sun, in the wind, all day long, every day, because that is west, because you see the sun is starting to set. Behind me is east, that is to the north. So this is gonna get sun and wind all the time. It's always windy out here. So yeah, I couldn't have a better drying place than this up on the hill. The only bad thing is, is that we had 36 degrees, 38 degrees, something like that today, and look at this. That's one day of sun. And this was froze solid like a rock yesterday. Nasty, nasty crap. I don't know what happened to winter because it is February now. This should be rock solid for another month. And it's just turning into soup. I mean, just look at this. That's just, that's from just today. And the worst part is, not tomorrow, but the next day, there's a 100% chance we're supposed to get five to eight inches of heavy, wet, nasty cement-like snow. So it's coming. So this is going to dry really nice here um, out in the bins and I'll just keep going that direction with it. So I'll make this uh, probably another, boy I would say right now we're at four pallets right here. So at least another four. So I'll probably come out to about where the trail is out here. So this will all be full. Then we'll do another one probably right here and another one, another one. We'll just keep building them uh, as best we can. So there we go. I'm going back to do some more uh, splitting right now.
Is that a thing of beauty or what? I know a lot of you don't get to see sunsets, but I get to see a lot. So I'm bringing this one to you. Okay, the splitting is done. Look what I found on this last piece. There was another piece of this uh, T-post that was in that tree service wood that Bert chopped apart with the, uh, the skid steer splitter. And he said he thought there might be another one in there, but because he said he didn't think he got it all. So, because he saw that it, it broke off inside, and there it is, I found it. And I did not hit the wedge with it, so that's a good thing, because that's a dandy. Don't want to run that through the wedge. Let's go look and see what's in the trailer here. I think there's some wood in there. I don't know how much I got done, but I went until it was starting to get too dark, and the light came on, and it looks like, what do we got? Oh, I don't know, a little over a third of a cord. That's a good amount, just because it was getting dark. I only had about a half hour, 45 minutes or so there. But there it is. The splitting for today is complete. The wood cats came out. Here they are. Hello there, Mr. Cat. That's half cat right here. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be back. I got a special guest coming supposedly tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. Tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. I'll be back. You're going to be here because I know you got nothing better to do in the morning besides sit on your throne and drink coffee, hopefully. That's two different things. <laughs> I'll see you then. Right now you're gonna go and watch, see which way to be, this way. That video right over there. I think there's one on the screen. Watch that one. There's 980 other ones too. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.